hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been way too long but i'm so so excited to be creating content again um for those of you who don't know i had um an injury last year i'm actually at the time of recording this actual video exactly two weeks post-op on my hand and it is i'll go into a little more detail later but I'm so, 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 so happy to um, finally start to get full range of motion back. Um, but today I'm just going to be doing a super, super, super simple set um, with my colored apres tip. Um, I ordered these from Nail Labo. I believe Apre discontinued them on their website, but Neil Labo still has them. It was my second order with that company. And honestly, I can't say um, anything bad about them. They were super, super nice. I was so shocked because I ordered three different shapes and sizes. I ordered the short round, I ordered the medium coffin, and I also ordered the medium stiletto. And they actually sent me the medium round for free. And no, these guys don't know that I have a YouTube channel or anything like that. Um, so it was just really nice. That's just something that they did for me, um, as a customer and they included like a cute little note just saying it was a gift, um, because at first I definitely thought it was a mistake. So, um, thank you guys. Like that was just so pleasant and unexpected. So as you can see, I'm just kind of jumping right into the video here and, um, yeah, let's get into it. So for this video, um, just given the constraints that I have with my hand right now, I did decide to prep with, um, I, I will link it if I can find it, but it's basically just a liquid cuticle remover. I can't really use any scissors or clip my cuticles, so if sort of sloppy cuticles bother you, this probably is not the video for you, but regardless, um, I was just so happy to finally have my nails done because it's been so 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 long like months um sorry it's a little shaky right here um whenever i file it does get a little shaky i tried to remove that but um it just really didn't care <laughs> um but let's jump into like what has been happening with me um as you know i prep these nails so um in march the very end of march um 2020 i um was diagnosed with well Actually, I wasn't formally diagnosed, and that's when the problem first happened. So, in March, I um, I slept on my hand weird. I was under a lot of stress because um, um, my father was sick, and he's 100% fine now, just for the record. But I was under stress at the time because he wasn't feeling well, um, and I hadn't slept for a couple of days, and... I finally fell asleep and when I did I fell asleep on my hand in such an awkward position like it was literally holding up my head while I was like just knocked out cold for hours and when I woke up I just had the worst pain in my hand and I thought it was just like really sore kind of similar to like maybe having a crook in your neck or something but I was totally and completely wrong and I'm just going to pause really quickly to tell you what I'm doing here in the video I'm just customizing the cuticle area and thinning it out also um, because I have crooked fingers so I find if I fall off Part of the cuticle where my um, finger is crooked to make it fit better um, the nails go on straight so that's all I'm doing right there um, but yeah getting back to it um, I thought it was just gonna be something super simple like a crook in my neck but I was absolutely completely wrong um, the pain persisted for for about like a week and a half so I tried to get in to see my um, primary physician she was actually on vacation so they rushed me in with another doctor and it's so so disheartening and like really annoying when you don't get proper medical care um, because the test um, to diagnose my actual condition literally takes like three minutes uh, well I shouldn't even say three minutes like 30 seconds 
um, what you do is you kind of put your thumb in your, um, in your palm, ball in a fist, and then try to push forward. And if it hurts, then um, like you have the issue that I have. Um, but she didn't do that at all. She literally looked at me. She said, you're swollen. I'm just going to prescribe you a steroid. I asked her if she would do x-rays. She refused. I also asked her, um, were there any other like exams she could perform on me? She was like, it's just tendonitis. Like you'll be fine. And it was not tendonitis. So she wrote me a script for a brace and didn't even put a diagnosis code in there. Um, so my insurance wouldn't pay for it. So I ended up having to, number one, pay out of pocket for the wrong brace because I was so desperate from being in so much pain. And then number two, when I called up there, um, because I went to a place like kind of in the same building, she was already gone. They said she was going on vacation and she was rushing out of there. So basically I received subpar care from someone who probably just shouldn't have taken me on in the first place if they could not have. So fast forward, I wore that I wore that brace for two weeks and it hurt even worse. So then I decided to go to urgent care at that moment. And she performed the test on me that I described earlier. And I like literally went to scream. I was like, ouch, like it hurt so bad. And she was like, Yeah, you have a decorvase tendosynovitis. And I'm like, what? I have what? This other lady told me, you know, I have tendonitis. And she's like, no, like, it's a total different tendon. It works a total different way. It's located in a different place. Like, this is what's going on. And um, it was the urgent care that I went to. Um, it was actually part of the same health system. So she was able to look up everything, like this woman's notes. And she just apologized to me and was like, I'm so sorry because what she prescribed to you, like the brace, she was like, that exacerbated your issue because it does not cover the thumb and stabilize it. And since it's the tendon that runs all the way through the thumb, basically like everything else was staying still, but that was just running willy nilly, which means it was used more um, because now I'm using that tendon to like do more things since the rest of them have to be stabilized and it just made my issue worse. So she put me in a brace and told me to wear it for four weeks. She said, most people, if a brace works, it works for four weeks. She said, if it does not, you will have to go to a hand specialist. She said, like, it's likely that they'll start you off with like um, a steroid shot. So I was like, well, this is lovely. Um, and, you know, just to clarify, she actually said four to six weeks. I wore the brace for six weeks um, and it didn't get any better. So I finally um, made an appointment with my primary physician again because I honestly could not figure out the type of doctor to go to. Um, I didn't need a referral, but I just I had to go for um, some other stuff anyway, um, just to like you know get a normal checkup and physical. So I just decided to go and get it all handled at once. So. Long story short, she wrote me a script to a specialist, um, and she, you know, told me, yep, the diagnosis is correct, sent me to get an MRI, and also, um, gave me a, cor a cortisone shot or whatever it's called, whatever the steroid shot is, and it worked so, so, so well for about two weeks. I was moving my thumb, like... Nothing had ever happened. I recorded some more content, um, uploaded it like I thought I was doing well. Um, and then I went to go get a massage. And the lady picked up my hand and touched it. And like, I kid you not, she like barely rubbed me and like it hurt. It hurt and it hurt ever since. Um, so after that... I, you know, went, well, I called, I called her and went back and she said, Hey, like, you know, I don't like to give people, you know, shots like back to back. She was like, if, unless your pain, you know, gets back up to like, you know, a level like seven or eight, I just don't recommend it because my pain was only at about maybe like a four, um, out of 10. So she's like, you know, because just the effectiveness of the shots wear off over time. So basically she said, you know, once it gets really bad, we can do another shot. She said, but honestly, 
if it's not healing, you're just, you're a candidate for surgery. Um, she was like, you know, it's totally your decision. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with, I feel comfortable with. But I'm just letting you know, like, it's gotten to the point where if you want this fixed long term, that's the option. And I did not want surgery, you guys. So I legit held it off for as long as I possibly could um, until one day I was like, this just is not working. Like, it hurt to type on my computer, and that's what I do for a living. I wasn't making content anymore because I couldn't even put my hair in a ponytail. Holding a brush, trying to brush my hair hurt. I've been literally wearing, like, basically, like, braids. <laughs> Um, which is why I haven't uploaded a lot of things like editing videos just started taking me longer and longer and longer. And I just feel like I, I couldn't even put on like pants without feeling like I wanted to scream because it hurts so badly. Um, so I just honestly had to like really pray about it because, you know, surgery is kind of a big deal and it's not guaranteed that it will 100% fix the problem and work. Um, now I was a candidate for it, which means there was a very good chance, but you know, who knows? And I'm still recovering. Um, at, like I told you at the point where I recorded this, I was two weeks post-op. This is only a week later that I'm actually recording the voiceover. So, um, still only three weeks post-op, but I can move my thumb in ways that I couldn't before the surgery, but I'm still in pain. I start physical therapy soon, but I know that was just like a long drawn out story, but I'm just really happy to, you know, give you guys this update and be back to making content because it's just something I truly, truly love to do. And I enjoyed doing this set because it was just super, super simple and easy for me to do. Um, these tips, I've heard so many mixed reviews about them. And here's what I'll say. I originally purchased a sculpted version of these directly from Opre way back when, and they did not work for me at all. And the reasoning because um, the th thumb sizes only go to a zero and the sculpted tips fit like way smaller than the natural tips. I have flatter nail beds anyway. Um, but they just don't fit me. They don't fit my nails and they say sculpted tips work for anyone. They do not work for me. And that's just the bottom line about it. So I love their natural tips and I always wanted to purchase more in natural, but like I said, they discontinued them. And once I realized there was another company that is a authorized distributor, I decided to purchase through them. Um, I'm also using a bit right here from nail labo and um although i'll recommend everything else i couldn't really recommend this because um i was doing my nails and i honestly felt like it did a great job and i don't know if these are just you know i'm not a nail tech so i really can't tell you if these are just you know not as sturdy but i set my drill down i was putting on my top coat and then when i went to go put everything away i just noticed it was broken and I didn't like drop it. I don't recall dropping anything on it. Not to say that I didn't though, right? Um, I might order another one because it was only like $2.50. And I really like the job that it did. And maybe I'll just try to be more careful and let you guys know how that goes. But um, jury's still out. But I felt like it removed the excess gel pretty quickly and easily. Um, I did end up switching over to my other cuticle bit at one point. But I felt like this one did a pretty decent job. But anyways, if any of you all are, you know, kind of in the market for more tips, um, you don't want to deal with, you know, how long it could take shipping from the original website. Um, you know, it seems like Nail Labo is very, very efficient. Like I said, it was my second order with them. And I'm just really surprised that they gave me something for free. <laughs> oh, that like never happens to me. So I'm like, they probably just got a loyal, <laughs> made a loyal customer out of me. Um, laughing, but very seriously. Um, but yeah, 
anyways, I love these tips. Um, I've been rambling, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm like so out of my element. But back to it, what I was saying is like these ones actually are a little too um, small for me as well. But since they're so translucent, what I found is like if I thin out the cuticle area enough, you really can't tell by the time I put top coat on because it blends into my natural nail. And since they're a little see-through, like it just looks pretty much the same color. And I found that no matter what color you use, it just works for some reason. Um, so, so yeah, I think um, I personally love these tips. Um, it really just depends on who you are. I've seen some nail techs do such cute designs with these tips. Um, I know she's not affiliated anymore, but there is a woman on Instagram. Um, her handle is Jessica Nails. Um, yes, I think she's the one that the actual like extend gel color was named after. Um, but she literally will like take these base color tips, apply them on someone, and then do like like cute like marble effects or waves or some type of nail art and I was like I love that because it just made it so much faster and for me doing my own nails like it does take a little while like I was actually looking at these videos I think this still took me an hour and a half and I'm slow simply because you know I have to be really careful with what I do with my right hand um and the orientation is a little off and weird but still at the same token, I think anything that I can do to speed it up is just going to be my jazz going forward because I don't know about you guys, but ain't nobody got time for that. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for listening to me ramble for like 17, 18 minutes. And I really appreciate you guys for supporting me. My channel has been growing and I was really just surprised and I appreciate the growth that I've seen from you guys even when I wasn't uploading content that was so surprising. Um, I love interacting so drop a comment below and if you've ever had the decor veins release surgery let me know because I am so interested to know how recovery period <laughs> went for you guys. Um, I'll be going through physical therapy soon, so I'm nervous but excited about that. But anyways, comment, like, subscribe, interact with the girl because I've missed you all. And here is the final look. As I told you, they're a little translucent, but they're just so nude and cute. Like, adorable. I'm in love. Okay, bye guys.